Welcome in to Steelers Talk Yenzers. I am your host, Jack Sperry. On today's show, I'm going to be talking about the latest rumors surrounding the Pittsburgh Steelers, including whether or not the Steelers could potentially go pursue Leonard Fournette running back in NFL free agency. And of course, I'm going to be going over uh, some trade rumors, including Stefan Diggs, Patrick Queen, a couple names there to discuss. And then also Pat Fryermuth is dealing with a minor injury uh, during mandatory minicamp. Going to be giving you the latest update on Muth's status. But before we get into today's action, this full slate of Steelers rumors, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel just in case Omar Khan has something up his sleeve here. Okay, we know Omar likes to make moves. He likes to make trades. And there could be something here in the next couple of weeks that really puts the cherry on top of his very impressive 2023 offseason. If that move happens, we're going to have a breaking news video for you guys right here on YouTube, 100% free. So go ahead, click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss any breaking news from your Pittsburgh Steelers. So now let's start off today's show by talking about Leonard Fortnette NFL free agency rumors here, where Ryan Leaf listed the Steelers as the perfect landing spot uh, for the former top 10 draft pick here. And I think this is very interesting because personally, I think the Steelers are pretty good at the running back position. But this is what Ryan Leaf had to say. You put him in the backfield with Najee, you get down inside the 10 yard line. I mean, Kenny Pickett won't even need to throw the ball. He, all he would have to do is turn around and hand the football to his guys, and that's how Pittsburgh takes the AFC North. So here's the question, or here's, here's the thing, Ryan. Have you ever heard the name Jalen Warren? Because he's doing great in minicamp last year. He had a good rookie season last year. And Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, the combination uh, in the running back room right now, it's fine. The Steelers do not need to add a, a, a guy like uh, Leonard Fournette who just had a really bad season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, easily the worst of his career. I'm not even sure where he would fit into this group. Personally, I think he'd probably be the number three running back on the Pittsburgh Steelers heading into next season because you look at what Najee and Jalen bring to the table. 272 carries for Najee last year. That's a lot of workload, man. Over 1,000 yards. Uh, and Jalen Warren last year, five yards per carry. Very, very effective when he is in the ball game. Seven touchdowns for Najee Harris last year and three combined fumbles. I expect all of these numbers to be much higher here in 2023 as Jalen Warren is put on poundage. This is going to be more of a power-based run scheme this year, and I really think that with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren leading the way, and then Alfonso Graham as well, he's showing up in camp as well. I think with those three guys as your running backs, you are set. You don't need a Leonard Fournette that just had easily the worst season of his career. I just don't think he fits the mold here, and I think Ryan Leaf is kind of out of his mind with this take here, saying he's the perfect fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Would you sign running back Leonard Fournette in NFL free agency. Give me a yes or give me a no. YouTube is about to throw an ad break your way here in a couple of seconds. Take advantage of that time by answering today's question with a yes or a no. All right, now let's get into some trade rumors here. And the latest one that Steelers fans like to throw around on Twitter is that the Steelers should trade for Stefan Dix, okay? All pro caliber wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, apparently, he's been having some issues with the Bills brass, with their head coach, Sean McDermott, the front office, Josh Allen, their quarterback has been saying that there's been some communication issues in Buffalo, and Diggs was not there for the first day of mandatory minicamp. He did show up to practice yesterday, and apparently he has mended his relationship a little bit with the Bills organization, but apparently they're having some issues, and some people are like, let's trade for Stefan Diggs, especially the people, I would say, that don't like Deontay Johnson. This is the trade that I am seeing some Steelers fans, particularly Deontay Johnson haters, throw out on Steelers Twitter, okay? You give Deontay Johnson in a third round pick to Buffalo in exchange for for Stefan Diggs. Now, uh, I th personally, I just don't think the Steelers need to make this move. I think the wide receiver room is really good right now. Deontay Johnson, in my opinion, at right as it stands right now, especially among Steelers fans, is one of the most underrated wide receivers in the National Football League. You got George Pickens in there, and Allen Robinson and Calvin Austin III are both doing well in camp right now. I certainly don't think they need to make this kind of move, but I'll let you guys know what I think about this here in just a second. Coming up here, I'm going to tell you why this Stefan Diggs trade absolutely will not happen 
for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But first, let's have a word from our sponsor at NordVPN. Protect your digital world now and get 63% off NordVPN's two-year plan. NordVPN is striving to make the internet better than it is today. It can be free from online threats, censorship, and surveillance. Get your online security package now by visiting nordvpn.com slash SteelersCS. Get four months for free by using that link in the description and comment section when you purchase the NordVPN two-year plan. Let me tell you about all the features that you're going to get with a NordVPN package. Number one, you're going to get online protection with a single click. Number two, you don't miss any of your favorite content when you travel and all that sorts of stuff. You stay safe from malware, from malware and then also it's the fastest VPN on the planet. It's definitely the fastest one I've ever used. I've used a couple of them and this one is by far the best one in my opinion. And all of this is as simple as just a single click. Choose your location and click connect. NordVPN won't track you or share what you do online. Your data is always protected by next generation encryption. Get started now. Click the link in the description or comments. That's nordvpn.com slash SteelersCS to get four months for free. That, uh, that is nordvpn.com slash SteelersCS. And you can also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Taking another look here at the wide receiver room for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once again, I just don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers need to make this kind of move. I'm a believer in Deontay Johnson. I think George Pickens is going to have a breakout season this year. I think the depth is really good as well in this room as well. Something that the Steelers were desperately missing in 2022. And I just think that there's no way in hell this trade actually happens for Stefan Diggs. I just don't think it's really in the Steelers' interest. And then I also don't think it's in the Buffalo Bills' interest Plain and simply because Diggs' contract is utterly untradeable. That is the first reason why this trade won't happen, is that the, the Bills just can't afford to let Stefan Diggs go here because his contract is taking on, uh, if you trade him, the Bills have to take on almost $45.5 million over the next five seasons in dead cap. They don't want to do that. That's not something that they want to do. And, you know, I don't blame them for that. They want Stefan Diggs on their roster. They gave him a bunch of roster bonuses and salary bonuses and all these different things that they can't get out of. So if Stefan Diggs wants out of Buffalo, I don't know what they're going to do because this, this is one of the most untradeable contracts in the National Football League as it stands right now. And then also, would Stefan even want to come to the city of Pittsburgh, right? If he's not happy in Buffalo with Josh Allen, who's a superstar quarterback, and then also a team that is un inarguably a Super Bowl contender year in and year out, is he really going to want to come to Pittsburgh with a guy like Kenny Pickett, who is an unproven second-year quarterback? I really don't think so personally. And if he's not happy in Buffalo, I just don't see him being happy here in the city of Bridges. And then also... The reason why Steelers aren't going to do this is because they love Deontay Johnson, and for good reason, in my opinion. Is he the best wide receiver in the National Football League? No. Is he the most complete receiver in the National Football League? No, okay? But he is one of the most elite route runners in the league right now. He, he is always open against any type of coverage that is so, so important for the development of Kenny Pickett is having a security blanket like Deontay Johnson in the offense. Tomlin loves him. Khan loves him. I don't think that they would trade him for a guy like Stefan Diggs at this point, who, I mean, at the, I mean, he's on multiple teams that he's, he's on multiple teams here that he has been disgruntled with and they've been really, really good. So here's the number here, almost 45.5. A million dollars in dead cap for the Buffalo Bills if he ends up if he ends up getting traded. They're not going to be trading this guy. Plain and simply, that's the reality of the situation. No matter how much you hate Deontay Johnson, uh, Stephon Diggs is simply not going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler, at least in my opinion. But there's another trade that the Steelers could potentially consider here, and that is for Patrick Queen, because we know that the Steelers have been looking for another inside linebacker to add to this group. Right, uh, they've they, you know they've brought in Quan Alexander. They've looked at Isaiah Simmons, and you know this linebacking room right now it could certainly use some depth. Right, you got Cole Holcomb and Landon Roberts, Mark Robinson. Those are those that's a pretty good threesome of guys right there. All right, but you could definitely use some depth. Tanner Muse, you know, is he's just fine, I guess. But you could definitely use another name, another veteran presence in this room. And we've seen this because Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin have brought in a couple of linebackers over the last couple of days. For tryouts, they've brought in Jermaine Carter Jr. He's played for a lot of played for a lot of teams. Not a whole lot of action in the National Football League, but you know a lot of teams have given him shots. And then Nick Kwiatkowski, 
Uh, another guy that's been kind of going around different teams, trying to find a spot where he sticks. And it seems like they're trying to get a little bit more depth in that inside linebacker room before the start of training camp. And Patrick Queen is somebody that's a very intriguing uh, person, a very intriguing player, because before last season, he was terrible in pass coverage. He was one of the worst pass coverage linebackers in the league. Really, all he could do is blitz. Then last year, he incorporated the pass coverage element to his game. He's a great athlete, and he really came on in pass coverage last season. And last year, he had a 70.0 PFF grade, which is good for the 31st highest in the National Football League. Plus, the Ravens declined his fifth-year option this offseason, and if they don't trade him, he's probably going to hit the free agency market because they just gave Roquan Smith the biggest inside linebacker contract in the history of the National Football League. So there are some Steelers fans that are suggesting, hey, maybe we send them a, a day three pick for Patrick Queen and, and we get uh, PQ here in the black and gold uh, to try to get some revenge against his old team. A fifth round pick is what they're suggesting. What do you guys think about this potential trade offer? Would you accept it if you were Omar Khan, the GM? Type A if you're going to accept this trade or type D if you're going to decline. For me, I am. I just don't think, I just don't see the Baltimore Ravens trading one of their players to a division rival at this point in time. They don't want to make the Steelers any better than they already are, especially on the defensive side of the ball, because arguably without Patrick Queen, the Steelers could have a top five or even top three defense this year. If you add Patrick Queen to that unit, they just get that much better. I really don't think the Ravens are going to want to strengthen their division rival in that way. So because of that, I say there's pretty much a 0% chance Patrick Queen ends up a Steeler unless the Ravens end up uh, uh, releasing him into free agency. So before I go here, we have some injury news to discuss from Steelers minicamp, and it's none other, none other than the starting tight end here in Pittsburgh, Pat Fryermuth, who is dealing with a minor injury. He talked to the media yesterday. Uh, he confirmed that he's dealing with a minor injury. You know, he's a limited participant participant in practices right now is not practicing with a helmet. So if I'd have to speculate, it's something to do with his head, but it could be anything at this point. But he said he's going to be 100% ready to go for training camp and the 2023 season. But I just want to keep you guys updated on the latest injury news around Pat Frymuth and whatever injury he's dealing with right now, we're wishing him a speedy recovery. So type 88, his number down in the comment section to show your support for old Pat Fryermuth. Really do appreciate all the support, guys. That's going to be it for today's show. Make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because if you made it this far, we must be doing something right here at Steelers Talk. And guess what? We got videos just like this one every single day here on the channel. We're going to have watch live, oh, a live watch parties during the regular season. We're going to have a lot of great stuff coming your way here, so make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications.